Hey guys, welcome to another video on how to stake on Aave. In case if you don't know what's Aave safety module, we have done a video about this and you can get all the information there. But basically by doing this, you'll be adding security to the protocol and essentially earn safety incentives by providing that security. And up to 30% of your stake can be slashed to cover that deficit. And you're also providing an additional layer of protection to the protocol. But again, check out the link in the description below for our previous video with all the information about this. So let's get started. The first step is you have to make sure you have Aave on your MetaMask wallet or on your Coinbase wallet. So then you can start staking. As you can see, I already have some Aave in my wallet. So let's start the staking process. I have about 0.4 and it's very important that you make the math according to what you want to stake and also according to the fees because you, you can only stake on Ethereum's network. Polygon or other networks does not work, so it's pretty expensive in terms of transaction fees. Just for you to have an idea, I spent about $20 in transaction fees just to stake about 0.4 of Aave tokens. So let's get started. Here on the dashboard, I can see my APR. It's about 6.10%, so I think that's pretty cool. And the max slashing is 30%. This is what's gonna cover the deficit. So let's click on the stake button. Let's see here. And here is an important information. It's pretty cool that Aave is, is uh, pretty transparent about this, is if you wanna unstake the funds, you'll have to start the cooldown period. And I'm gonna show this next, but it's gonna take about 10 days for you to get essentially your, your funds back after the cooldown. That's when you can withdraw the funds. So let's get started and start staking. Uh, there's about uh, four, uh, four cents in gas fees. So let's approve the transaction. Now I get my MetaMask wallet. Let's see if there's any other fees, anything else. It's about $2.76. So that's pretty neat. It's just approving the transaction. Okay, so let's click on the staking button. Once the transaction is approved, now it's gonna show us the final transaction. And here we go, guys. It's gonna take about $19 over to do this transaction. It's an estimate for gas fees for this. So let's see, let's click the confirm button. And now we should be officially staking on Aave safety module. So let's get those rewards. The rewards are paid back on Aave tokens. Okay, there we go. So now we have it. We can refresh the page. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, you were staking. We can see the amount that we're staking about the equivalent to about $32. Uh, and here shows us the cooldown period. This is once we want to withdraw the funds, we have to click on call down to unstake and that's pretty much it always keep that in mind uh, that there's that cooldown period if you want to get back the funds and essentially after the the cooldown period is complete you have about a two-day window where you can unstake if you do not unstake during that period you'll have to start the cooldown process over again so that's very important guys uh, like for example if you have staked your, your cooldown period was activated about 10 days and four hours ago, you can stake. But then if it's about, if it was activated about 12 days and two hours, you cannot unstake. So you need about, you need to start on the 10th day of the cooldown period. So that's, that's really important to, to have in mind if you wanna get back your funds. And in terms of the rewards, the rewards that Aave provides is about, I think it's sort of every quarter and you'll get those incentives and essentially is the rewards are about 550 Aave per day to be split between all the stakers. So the safety incentive allocation, it's, it's due quarterly. So they pay back like quarterly. It's like imagine you have a stock, they're paying you back dividends every quarter for providing the safety to the protocol. Um, so yeah. And they should be voted on before the end of every three months, every 90 days, the distribution schedule. 
So you should check out on the governance structure for the proposals uh, in terms of the voting, when is the distribution schedule, but should be every quarterly. Um, yes, so, and also it's important to, to mention that in the case there is no votes or there is a new SC allocation plan, the current allocation will continue until the vote or the AVE reserve is completely empty. So I recommend you to check out the uh, AVE FAQ on migration and staking and also our previous video as down below in the description so you can really know all the details about it. So now I'm going to click on, oh this is cool, we already made some AVE, <laughs> about 0.1 cent uh, for staking here, so that's pretty cool. You can also stake a uh, ABPT token and here redirects us so we can get there. There's a bit higher APR, so that's also interesting. And here we can either claim the AVE or cool down to unstake. So here we go, this is important. Gives us a message about the 10 days again. And there's an unstake window of the two days, as I said previously. I understand how the cooldown. So if you when I activate the cooldown, this is probably going to cost again on ga on transaction fees. I'm going to reject it, so I'm going to leave it there, but it's going to cost more than $2 because there's another fee to activate another smart contract. So that's pretty much it, and good luck staking. Let us know down below in the comments if you have any questions. Visit learn.blockchainedu.org to learn more about this and other topics.